for another video on how to say no to your family and friends when they call you with all of your problems so you can get your goals done. <laughs> Uh, they will call you 24 seven if you allow them to, if you pick up your phone actually, cause they can call you regardless, but if you pick up your phone, that's on you. So for one, you have to realize that you are not God. You can't save people. Stop thinking you are God and that you can save people. When you think you have this God like mentality in an unhealthy way, you will start to insert yourself and enable people and you'll be, you'll in a sense, make them think you're God because they're going to you before they even go to God. <laughs> That's a word. They will, they will start going to you before they even go to God. And then you thinking you're God. And that may be hard, a hard pill to swallow, but it's just the truth. We think that we can do way more for people than what we should do. And all of a sudden, the things that God has called us to do, we ain't doing it. <laughs> so you are one. Well, you, you have to humble yourself and realize that you're not you're not anybody's savior. The next thing you want to do is to be able to say, OK, this person is calling me right now. But if I have on my schedule from six to seven, I'm studying my word or I am researching some things that God has called me to do then I am studying my word or researching the things that God has called me to do. I'm not picking up my phone. And more than likely, if you need a, you need something solved, you'll call somebody else. <laughs> like, and, and, and I can call you later once I get finished with what I'm doing, but you don't have to pick up the phone every time somebody calls you. You don't have to pick up the phone every time there is a problem. You don't have to solve everybody's problems. Actually, you have you have a hard time solving your own because you have clouded your mind with everybody else's issues so you're not god you're not a savior and then you got to remember <clears throat> when it comes to dealing with other when it comes to dealing with other people in your family like you have to stick to the schedule stick to what god has called you to do because if you don't that six to six to seven time frame you're talking to somebody then you get tired then you're like oh i'll do it tomorrow and then tomorrow turns into two weeks two weeks turns into two months then it turns into two years and now you're acting as if you're like you're a servant and you ain't being a servant <laughs> and so the last thing is knowing what servanthood actually is it is not for you to have to solve everybody's problems. If, if you do that, you're not, help, you're not helping them to solve their own problems. You're not helping them to go to God. And so what we'll, and again, we'll end up doing is taking all this time to help different people. And yet we we don't even realize what servanthood is and what it is not. It is not uh, clouding your head and your mind every day with everybody's burden. So they're on you. It's, it's helping them to equip them to hear from God to understand the resources that they have to actually gain some wisdom, tell them to read the Bible, <laughs> tell them to talk to God. Stop calling me. You talk to God for a moment. You don't always need me to solve your problems. I'll tell people, look, don't call me to solve your problems. I can, I can easily give you a step system right now. <laughs> I can easily tell you what God, what, what God has already shown us in the Bible. Um, but I, I, a lot of times I don't even do that. I, I just say, Hey, what, what, what do you think God is telling you? And then that, that two hour conversation now turned into five minutes. But I think sometimes too, we just, we love the fact that people need us. Some people need us. And if they don't need us, um, then I, how am I, uh, worthy of this life? And it's not about that. It is not, it is a lot. It is about us humbling ourselves, allowing God to do what he needs to do through people, not enabling and helping them to point to Christ and to Jesus so that you can reach the, the ministry, the vision, the revelation that God has given you um, and walk in that. That's real servanthood um, and helping people along the way. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. But when that that takes up all of your time, then there's something wrong with the way you see service. So see service differently. Uh, stop, stop saying no and, and yes to all your friends and family that have problems and you're taking on all those different things so that you can do what God has called you to do. And go ahead and do that today because tomorrow is too late to be great.